What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a page access token. This will allow us to see the page's insights, get the feed, post to the feed, basically any interaction you want to do with your Facebook page, you can do with the page access token. By the end of this video, we're going to use our user access token to get a list of pages for the current user. Then we're going to use the page ID to get a page access token. We're also going to be using the Facebook Graph API Explorer tool to check out our access token. And as you see here, I did a slash feed on our page with our page access token, and we got a list of posts back for our page. We're going to begin over in our blog code repository. Check it out on GitHub, github.com slash jstolpe slash blog code. In our Facebook Graph API Explorer folder, we're going to open up our get user access token which is what we went over in the last video go check that out we're going to open up our defines file and our functions file then we're going to copy over our get user access token and we're going to rename it get page access token this is the file we'll mainly be working in for this video the only things i left in here were the include defines and include functions which are our other two files that are open now in our defines file we need to make sure we have our app id our app secret and our redirect url set up i went over all this stuff in the previous video so go check that video out if you want to see how the app was set up the new variables we're going to place in here are going to be our user access token, our page ID, and our page access token, which we will be populating shortly. Now in our previous video, we got a user's access token. However, we need to add on a permission if we want to view the list of pages associated to that user. So over here in our get Facebook login URL, where we specify the permissions for the user's access token, we're going to add on pages show list. Now we'll get back the email profile and a list of pages associated to the user. Now over on our get user access token page, we're going to log in with Facebook. It should ask me to continue and it's going to return me back. And now our access token should have the permission pages show list. To verify this, I'm going to copy this user token and we're going to head over to the Facebook Graph API Explorer tool. I'm going to paste my access token right here in the access token and it should tell us the permissions right here. Public profile, pages, show list, and email. So if I go to me and I specify fields, accounts, you see it says pages the user has a role on. Select that and hit submit and I get back a list of accounts that is associated to my user. Here is my page. Over in the code, I'm going to say this access token so we don't have to generate a user access token anymore unless we have to add new permissions of course. Over in our defines file, I'm going to save my user access token into our user access token variable. Now we're going to get our page ID. You saw the response we got in the Graph API Explorer tool. We're going to write a function that will get us that with a curl call. We're going to begin by defining our user info params. The endpoint is just slash me. Then we have to specify the fields we want. Here's where we specify the fields, just like we did in the Graph API Explorer. We're going to do accounts, and we'll also specify the name. Then we have to pass along our access token, our user access token, which we defined over here. So we're just going to copy this variable and paste it right there. And then the request type is a get request. I'm going to pass these parameters into our get Facebook user info function, which we will write in our functions file. At the bottom of our file here, we're going to create our new function. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to specify the endpoint, which we passed along into the params as endpoint path. Then we're going to specify the params to the API. All we have to do after the endpoint is tag on our fields. And of course, we have to pass along our access token. This is going to be our account and our name that we specified. And this will be our access token. Then all we have to do is make our API call. Return make API call. There's our endpoint, specifying our endpoint params. And the request type, we did pass along that as well in our params. Now over on our user info page, if we dump out our user info, we should see a list of accounts coming back just like we saw in the Graph API Explorer tool over to our Facebook Graph API, get page access token. And of course, nothing works on the first try. What do we have? Undefined request type. I spell it wrong. Our request type. Did we not pass it in correctly? No, oh, we did not pass it in correctly. Request type, not request post. All right, let's refresh our page now. And we're still getting errors, of course. Object with ID, v12. That's the version we're specifying. So what's wrong with the version in here? Graph version. Ah, we missed the, the backslash. Fingers crossed, refreshing the page. It finally worked. We only had two errors, not bad. All right, so here, just like the Graphic API Explorer tool, we have our accounts listed out here. Here is our page, my page for my personal blog, and here's my page ID. We're gonna save this page ID over in our defines file, page ID. Now all we have left to do is get a page access token. So under our user info, specify our page params. The endpoint path for the page info has to be our page ID, which we just saved right here into our page ID variable. We have our fields, and our fields for getting the page access token are access token. Then we have to use our user access token to get the page access token, and it is a get request. 
We're going to use our same function here, get Facebook user info. This time we are getting page info. Dump out our page info right below our user info and to make sure our page info params are getting passed in. Now if we refresh our get page access token, scroll to the bottom, we should see an access token for a page. There it is. See, so we got an access token for our page. It returns the ID of the page along with the page access token. We're going to copy that access token and save it over in our defines file. Page access tokens never expire, so we can just save it right here and don't have to get the access token again. Let's check this out over in the Graph API Explorer tool. I head over here and I copy and paste my page access token here, and then I copy my page ID, paste that right here, hit enter. See, it gives me back the name of the page and the ID. So we can do things like slash feed, which will give us the page's posts. There is a list of the posts. It's my page ID slash feed, and we are using our newly generated page access token to get the feed. And just like the me endpoint, we can specify the fields, and the tool brings up a list of fields that we can select from. Let's check out the message for each post, and let's see who the post came from. Hit submit, and now along with the message and ID, we get the from. And that is going to wrap up how you get a page access token with the Facebook Graph API. We went over getting the token with a curl call with some code. We also looked at the tokens in the Facebook Graph API Explorer tool. I hope this video helped you guys out. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.